Welcome back at another video on having fun with the Arduino and DCC. In previous video we had a look at a combined servo and function decoder. Then for some reason of simplicity I decided to separate those and have a separate servo decoder and a separate function decoder. Uh, but then came along Eric Holewijn and he had the idea of adding sound. And moreover, he also had created the software, the Windows PC software, to do so. So we have been working together uh, a few days now and I'm happy to show you the result of this joint project. So what we have now over here is an Arduino with a sketch that is a combined function, servo and sound decoder. But it's not the Arduino that plays the sounds, it just sends a command via USB to the PC and the PC plays the sounds. Well, let, let's have a look how that works. We have here a sort of fictitious railway crossing. This is the, uh, the barrier and over here are two uh, blinking lights. And let me put, press, press here this button to activate that. Oh, do you hear those barking dogs? That's not outside, that is the sound decoder. Also, the cow was the sound decoder. So, this is what we can do with it. Let's have a little more uh, look in detail. Uh, this function decoder, uh, the DCC, sends an address and all you need to do, you don't have to do anything difficult in the software, all you need to do is to configure your functions. And there's a manual going along with it, a user manual, and it's, it's easy, an easy read and then you will be able to do that yourself. What can we do? Well, there are three modes of operation. Uh, first of all, if a DCC address comes in, we can have the continuous mode, which means uh, an output is uh, activated as long as the DCC is active and it, is, it goes back to uh, idle state if the DCC becomes inactive. Um, we have uh, uh, this red light over here coupled to the servo motor in continuous mode. So maybe I can start it again. As you can see there is a delay before the servo starts. Yeah, this is the continuous output. So the servo motor is connected to one of the functions, which is a continuous function. This delay possibility, that is with every function, you can define a start delay and a stop delay. And in this case, that's of course very convenient, because with the railway crossing, you first want to start the lights and the sound, and sometime later you want the barrier to go down. And uh, at the end of the process, the opposite, you first want the barrier to go up and sometime later stop the blinking lights and the sound. Alright, the second possibility is a one shot. Uh, that is over here. Look at the blinking light. Uh, the, the light will blink for exactly one second. Yes. Okay, after one second it went out. We hear the barking dog again because this function has the barking dog sound allocated to it. Let me stop that dog. Then we have a flasher function. The flasher function we have already seen here with the railway crossing. Every flasher has two outputs. You can use both or you can use just one. Uh, let me activate a flasher over here. As you can see, the light is blinking. Uh, the time, the uptime and the downtime are separately configurable. And uh, if I stop it, it stops, of course, blinking. So the difference between a one shot and a blinking is the one shot triggers only once. And blinking, it goes on until DCC is turned off again. All right, so this is it. Uh, well, just for fun, let me do it one more time.
Okay, thank you for watching and maybe see you back at a later video. Oh, by the way, the software is available for download. Uh, uh, the link goes with the text with this video. Bye bye.